amid thy troops, while I ponder, weep, and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten books. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tap, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, uh, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished to morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my books or cease of sorrow, sorrow, the lost manure. For the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here, forevermore. And the silken, sad, and certain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to, to, still, be, to still be beating on my heart, I stood repeating. Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger. Hesitated then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I was scarce sure I heard you. Here I opened like the door. Darkness there and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal had ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, the Lord. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, the Lord! Nearly this and not the more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard its happening somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely this is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then, where thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here, I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven from the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with me and a lore lady perched upon my chamber door. Perched upon the bust of pallets just above my chamber door. Perched and sat, and nothing more. Then, this empty bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven thou, I said, art shorn, no craven, Ghastly, grim, and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore, tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly, though his answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help believing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door bird or beast, upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such a name as nevermore. But the raven, sitting lonely on that placid bust, spoke only that one word, as if in his soul that one word he did outpour. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends had flown before. On the morrow he would leave me, as my hopes had flown before. And then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock in store, caught from some unhappy master, whom a merciful disaster followed fast and followed faster to tell his songs one burden bore, tell the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore, of never, nevermore. But the raven still beguiling all my fancy into smiling, straight I wheeled the cushion seat in front of the bird and busted door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to thinking. Fancy unto fancy what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly gaunt, an ominous bird of yore, meant in croaking, nevermore. 
This I sat, engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat defining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight coated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er? She shall dress on never more. Then he thought the air grew denser, perfumed with an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the top of floor. Wretch, I cried, God hath sent me, by the angels he hath led me, respite, respite, and depend from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this kind of pen, and forget the lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophets did I, think of evil, prophets still of bird or devil, whether tend to set, whether tempt is tossed me here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this tender land enchanted, on this home of horrors haunted, tell me truly I implore. Is there fault in Gilead? Tell me truly I implore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, say of evil, prophet still of bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. <clears throat> Tell this soul with sorrow laden, within the distant Aden, it shall clasp a sainted maiden, whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden, whom the angels name Lenore. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. Be that word our sight parted but a beam, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the tempest, and the night Plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token, of the lie thy soul has spoken, leave my loneliness unbroken. Take thy form from off my door. Take thy beak from out my heart, and quit the bust above my door. Quote the raven, Nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting, on the pallid bust of palace, just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the semen, of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming, throws a shadow on the floor. And my soul, from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted.